If your website and funnel pages are loading too slowly, then you might be missing out on valuable subscribers and sales. Now, studies have shown that not only do slow loading website pages piss people off and cause them to leave your website, fuck, what the fuck? it also has a direct impact on your conversion rate as well. So in this video, I'll show you a quick and easy hack that you can apply to your website pages, your landing pages, and your sales funnel pages inside of system.io to improve your page load speeds, which should have a positive impact on your conversions. Now, just to give you an example of how important this can be, a company called Mobify found that by decreasing their page load speed just by 100 milliseconds, improved their conversion rate by 1.11%. And another company called AutoAnything managed to achieve an increase of 12 to 13% in their conversion rate by cutting their page load speed in half. And Walmart found that by improving their page load speed just by one second, increased conversions by 2%. So now let's jump into system.io and I'll show you this quick and easy hack that you can apply to your pages for free to improve your page load speeds. So here I am inside of system.io and I'm going to show you how to do this in one of my funnels that I've got in my account. And I'm going to use this test funnel here that I quite often use to demo on my YouTube channel. So if we have a look at the squeeze page, this is what it currently looks like. It's just a basic landing page, an opt-in form and an image of the lead magnet. So for this demo, I wanted to show you this on a very basic page so we can isolate some of the elements and then you'll be able to see the impact this little hack has. Anyway, before we apply a change to this landing page to improve the page speed, let's just run a test on this page right here to see what the current page speed is. So we're gonna head over to Google and we're gonna search for page speed insights, click on the top result. Now here, we're gonna enter our URL of our landing page and click analyze. So you'd wanna do this for any page on your website or your funnel pages or any of your landing pages to see what each individual page is showing in terms of the performance. So here we can see for this particular page on the mobile, the performance is only 54 out of 100 and on desktop, it's 75 out of 100. Now, it's not necessarily necessary to get it to 100%. In fact, often that's actually not possible. But as I showed you earlier, even one second in improvement in your page load speed can have a noticeable difference on conversions. Now, in order to speed up the page, first of all, we've got to think about what is it that's actually causing it to be so slow? Now, if we actually look at this funnel page, there's nothing on it really, except for an image and the opt-in box. Now, you probably guessed it already, the image is actually one of the things that can considerably slow the page down if your image file is either too big or if the image itself is not optimized or both, even worse. So if we head back into system.io, unfortunately, there isn't any settings really inside of system.io that you can play around with to improve the page load speed like you can do with a WordPress website. That said, generally on the whole system.io's pages don't run too slowly anyway. And I contacted system.io support about it and they said that their developers are constantly working on improving page page load speeds on our behalf anyway. However, that said, it makes a big difference for you to optimize your images before you upload them to your system Dio account. So first of all, when it comes to the image size, it's really important that you're not using an image file that's just too big. Now, back several years ago, when I used to run a web design and SEO agency, it was very common for me to see people's websites. They came to me for help and they were just using massive image files. They just didn't realize that that would actually cause a problem for your website. So just so you know, here it is some ideal image sizes that you would use for different types of images you'd have on your website or your funnel pages or your landing pages. For example, the background image, this is the ideal dimensions and so on. I'll leave a link to this article in the description below this video. So it's easy for you to find it if you want to have a quick look and make sure your images are around about these sizes. And if you need to resize any of your images or moving forwards from now on, every time you upload an image, just make sure that it's this right size. And if they're not, you can use this website here for free to resize your images by dragging and dropping them here. Again, I'll leave a link to this website in the description below this video. So it's easy for you to find this. And then the second thing you want to do is you want to convert the image file, which is most likely going to be either a PNG or a JPG file. And you want to convert that to a WebP file. So WebP is an image format that uses a particular type of compression to reduce the file size. And the benefits of this, it can considerably increase your page load times, which improves the user experience for your website visitors, reduce the likelihood of them just hitting the back button just because your website's taking too long to load. And just by the fact that they've stayed on your website for longer or your landing page for longer, they're more likely to convert into an opt-in or a sale, whatever you're trying to do on that page. Now, if we go back to this funnel page that we're working on, we look at this image right here. If I click on it, we can see that the image file is actually a PNG. We want to change this to WebP. So how do we do that? What we're going to do is we're going to come to another free website, which is this one here, PNG to WebP Converter. And again, I'll leave a link to this page in the description below this video so it's easy for you to find it. Or also, if your image happens to be a JPG and not a PNG, then you can come to this page right here, which will convert JPG to WebP. 
And again, I'll leave this link in the description as well. So anyway, since my image is a PNG, I'm going to be using this page to drag and drop my file right in here. So I'm going to find my image, which is right here. I would actually rename this. I wouldn't leave the image name like this. I'd actually just name it what the image is. So otherwise leaving it like this with lots of numbers in it is not really good for SEO. Anyway, just quickly renamed it there. And so this is a PNG. I'm going to drag and drop it into this website right here. And then I can click the button that says convert. And now this will quickly in a few seconds convert my image from PNG to WebP. And now it's ready. It took just a few seconds and I can click the download button, download it to my computer. Now here I can find my new version of this image, which is now WebP. So if I head back to my page in system.io and I'm going to click on the image file, come to the little cloud icon, click on the cloud icon, and now I can drag my WebP version of my image right in here. And this just again takes a second or two to upload to sysn.io, selects my WebP version, click insert. And now this has the WebP version of the image. Click save changes, I'm going to exit. And now I'm going to copy this link again and test the page load speed to see how much difference this has made just by changing this one image. So let's head back over to PageSpeed Insights. So as we saw before with the PNG version of the image on mobile, we had 54 performance and desktop was 75. So let's just run this one more time, click analyze and see what our new score is. So now we've got 71 on mobile and 84 on desktop. So that's great. That's a nice change just from one image. Now, unfortunately, there's not really much else you can change yourself if you're using like a platform like System.io or ClickFunnels or Kartra or any of those platforms. They're managed for you. But this is one thing that you can affect by optimizing your images. So that said, I think these scores will be absolutely fine. And like I said earlier, it's not actually really necessary to get it to 100%. And in a lot of cases, it's not actually possible anyway. When we compare it to a website like eBay, for example, they're getting 68 on mobile and their performance is 80 on desktop. And I don't think eBay is doing too badly in terms of the amount of sales they make. So don't worry about it. Try and get it to 100%. Just get it as best you can. Now, if you have any questions, then feel free to leave me a comment below the video. And if you got value from this video, then please do like, share and subscribe. It really helps my channel out a lot and I really appreciate it. Now, if you need more help with System.io, then I've got lots of System.io step-by-step tutorials on my channel. And you can see my System.io playlist right here.